Advertencia. El contenido de este episodio no es apto para todas las edades. Su gordo favorito viajó a Los Ángeles, California a entrevistar a una actriz porno, lo cual puede resultarle sensible a algunas personas. Si no están de acuerdo, favor de abandonar el video. Diner en un tren en Los Ángeles. Carney's Restaurant es el nombre de este famoso diner de comida americana ubicado en la avenida de West Hollywood, Los Ángeles. En 1975, John Wolf y su esposa pensaron que mientras todos los restauranteros de California estaban construyendo restaurantes normales sería más atractivo para el público comer dentro de un vagón de tren porque violó así que compraron un antiguo vagón le retiraron los asientos y causaron un enorme tránsito en la avenida durante tres horas mientras lo colocaban con una grúa actualmente el restaurante sirve un menú muy similar al de su fundación pero es famoso por sus deliciosas hamburguesas y hot dogs que puedes acompañar con una cerveza lo cual no es común en un diner así que la próxima vez que te estés paseando por california recuerda Recuerda que hay un espacio pensado para los gordos que gustan de comer en vagones con una chela. ¡Gordo chelero! Mi panza me tiene confianza. Trae a la esposa del chef que quiero besarla. Tenedor, cuchillo, cuchara. ¿Listo, amigo? Esto es... Yum, yum, extravaganza. Yeah. Bienvenidos a esta emisión de Ñam Ñam Extravaganza, donde todo se trata de tragar y platicar. Ya conocimos un poquito sobre este épico y mítico lugar, Carnies, que es básicamente un diner en un tren. Eh, bastante delicioso, pero el día de hoy lo vamos a degustar con una persona eh, que lleva un rato aquí residiendo en Los Ángeles. ¿Cómo presentarla a ella? I will perform eh, Se dedica al porno, modela, pinta. What does she do? Uh, producing. Uh, give me a blast, for, uh, all the blast, please. <laughs> <laughs> was it okay the introduction? It yeah, was, uh, that was great. I, d I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> you don't know Carnies, right? I, I haven't been here before yet, no. So I'm really excited to try it because I've passed it a million times. So you, you, you leave here and be like, eh, later on. Later yeah, on. I just like, I see it and I'm like, this looks like a rad place and I've just never stopped in. Well, let's Somehow do it. I want a hamburger though. Let's do good. it. Let's go to the adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going for like maybe even a chili burger. All right, so it's gonna be a chili yeah. cheeseburger. I just come by. I speak in Spanish. This one. The chili cheeseburger, the hamburguesa de eh, cheeseburger con tocino. Una string rib fries. Yes. Uh -huh. So you want the whole thing, the burger? Toro. 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 Toro encima. <laughs> toro encima. Toro encima completo. <laughs> I know that. I know it's totally. So you went to Spain and you. It, it, I learned order. like one word at a time, and so I go to people and I'm like. Um, Vasa de agua, por favor, and they're like, like so slowly, and they're like, here, <laughs> here's your water. Yeah. Water, and if you get a beer, I get a beer. Let's get beers. Let's get beers. I love that. <laughs> Let's get beers. Um, Whoa. Thank you. Yum. Delicious. This is really good. How is yours? It's really nice. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're from Utah, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, you used to be a Mormon. Mm -hmm. How was the flip? Now you're in LA? Yeah. Um, so I grew up um, polygamous Mormon, and fundamentalist Mormon, which means that I was living in kind of like a compound, like farm in the desert. And so the flip was really huge, <laughs> obviously. Really? Mm -hmm. and, um, so I like ran away. technology and stuff? We had, a, we had a computer for the whole ranch, like everybody that lived there. There was like a few different farms in the area, and yeah. So I had a MySpace account. I was cool. I got in trouble for that. Um, I had my emo internet boyfriends. But yeah, I, I left home at 16 and then I ran away and joined like a, this like really shitty metal band. Um, this like really crappy metal band. And we toured all around the West, like uh, Idaho, all over Utah, Wyoming, up into Montana a little bit, like all of those places. And then um, I started modeling and then just went from there, so. How did you decide to start modeling? At first I was just like, it sounded cool and I, I didn't think anybody would actually hire me as a model, like I was, it, like I had just turned 18 and I was like, I don't really think that anybody's gonna really wanna hire me. I don't know, I just, I, I had my, I was shaved, I didn't have any hair. <laughs> and um, I was like traveling around with a backpack, like hitchhiking all around the country. And um, 
but then it became like a full-time job. Like out of nowhere, it became like a full-time job. It was um, really surprising. And so after that, I just like, I just went with it. And I was like, this is better than an office job. Like, you Did know. you got an office job at some point or? You... I have had office jobs, yeah. Um, and I usually have like some sort of mental breakdown and just like leave and like, that's I really. The, that's why you, the shape. That's, yeah, that's I was just, like, the, nope, the I can't. I'm really bad at sitting in cubicles. Like, like it's kind of absurd. You'd think I was really dramatic, except for I just can't help it. <laughs> so, and yeah, then I started modeling and I modeled for like 10 years all around the world and just started doing porn like a few years ago, a handful of years ago, like in LA, full time. You're it's been always, fun. You're always traveling, like, mm -hmm. what's the deal with your agenda? You're always like, I saw you the other day, you were in Wales. Yeah. Uh, I really like Spain traveling. And stuff. Is that because of work or do you just love to travel? Both. So when I was in Wales, I was working. I was shooting, um, do you know uh, The Witcher, the, the video game, The Witcher? Yep. So they were shooting the porn parody version of that called The Bewitcher. <laughs> and I was, uh, I played the character of Yennefer. So um, she's like a sorceress, like dark sorceress. So you need my help. Yes. It was for browsers. It was like, it was so cool. Yeah, it was really neat. Or a digital playground, I'm sorry. And it was awesome. And uh, then I went up to uh, the Arctic for my birthday, just for the hell of it. Hired a tour guide. I went dog sledding for a week in Svalbard. Yep. During that time at the, the shaving, mm -hmm. the shaved dolly making hitchhike or modeling, did you, did you question yourself like, what the f am I doing? I need to get back to, or you were like, no, I, I, was, know, I know what I want. I, I was 16 years old and I was just like, I just left home. And I was like, I didn't have anywhere to go. So I was like, yeah, just shave my head and like I have a backpack and you know the thing is is people are like how did you survive and I was like everybody was really nice to me I never had a single person pick me up when I was hitchhiking that was like weird ever one the only thing that ever happened is one guy was like hey would you mind if I uh, get naked while we're driving and I was like no I prefer you didn't and he's like okay <laughs> I won't then I was like, cool. It's weird that he asked, and it, right? it wasn't weird though, the, the, mm -hmm. the whole the whole road, like... I was just like, okay, well, just don't, and he's like, I won't. <laughs> Other than that, like, when I was hitchhiking around, everybody was super nice to me. But he decided at 16 to, to mm -hmm. make that turn, that was, was it like a breakdown, or...? or? Yeah, I got, um, I got in really big trouble with my community, because they, um, they saw my, like, MySpace account, and I was not supposed to have one, and I was like, I was basically just like a scene girl, like a MySpace like scene girl, you know? Like so my in, or my my You're MySpace like account was like emo. Right. I was like super emo and they found it and they're like, You're practicing you're practicing witchcraft. I'm like, I'm not don't even know what that is, but okay. And they were like putting me through like certain um, like Mormon like I don't even know what to call it. It's kind of like a really, really low key exorcism type stuff where they were just like, We need to pray over you. Like, you have been worshiping the devil. And I was like, I haven't been. I just have a MySpace account. <laughs> like, everybody chill. And um, so then I, I just, like, I was like, I'm just going to leave. Because I always wanted to be an artist. And so I was like, I'll just go be an artist. And you, you did modeling for a, for a long time. And then you jumped to the adult industry. Uh, yeah. Well, how was that jump? And it was excited? good. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. Um, so I had been modeling for a long time. And I was doing like a lot of fashion, a lot of art stuff. Um, I was doing some runway. I was living in New York, but traveling for work all over the world. And um, I was just like, always felt really judged. And like, especially in the fashion community, it was like not an easy place to exist and work. And I always felt like they, I was never enough. And um, then I got an offer to do like fetish work, like BDSM sort of stuff. And I was like, sure. Started doing that. I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> and um, and it pays really well. So I just started doing that because it was it was fun. I always felt comfortable, uh, sexy, and like yeah, it was just rad. And so after that, I joined an agency, my my current agency here. I just came here and started working. So is it like a coming out of the closet to be, to go out with your friends and family and be like, all right, you know where I was modeling? Yeah. Well, now I'm gonna be. Um, more modeling. Well, one thing that like I, I kept it a secret for a long time, and then um, and they, and they they discovered you on MySpace again. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, and then well then Trump got elected, and I was like, I'm telling everybody I do porn because if this guy can get elected, I can get away with anything. <laughs> like that was like, the I'm reason. Not, when, when yeah, he this guy is known to like do things that aren't consensual, and I'm doing something consensual. I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want. What's your perception on that? On this uh, stupid society that hides and be like, hey, don't. Don't watch that. Mm -hmm. and, so, and, and you know, like everybody's jerking up. Like you can see right. at, at Pornhub and stuff. Like this, this is this shit is viral, man. Yeah. This is like a 30 million views. Like everybody's watching it. Exactly. Or like in Utah, how the first two Google searches in Utah are porn and then Jesus. And so I'm like, so first they go watch porn and then they, you know, like they go jerk off after, and they're fine. They and find. then after they're like, oh, I have to look up Jesus now. <laughs> 
Like, come on, guys, just like be a little real with yourselves here. Was it hard during the process to to show people like this is who you know, I am now? I think it actually. Once I decided, um, once I decided that that's what I was going to do, I, my mom already knew, and she was fine with it. After I got the cover of Penthouse, because uh, I was the Penthouse pet of June last year. Penthouse pet of the mom last year. Yeah. And she saw the penthouse cover and she was like, oh, this is like a real job. I was like, yeah, mom, this is an actual real job. And she's like, okay, that's awesome. I support that. And so she was all good. And so after that, I was like, I mean, honestly, like if anybody has any questions, I will ask, answer their questions. If they have judgments, there's really nothing I can do about that. So fuck off, I'm paying bills now. Yeah, like you want to you support me, pay my bills, then we'll talk. <laughs> But first Christmas was like, eh, yeah. how's it going? Trump got elected and I jumped into all right, the business. I do porn. <laughs> Yeah. But you've been doing this for a while too, right? Like the stand-up comedy look for like seven years. Yeah, hell yeah. Are you are you doing any shows in LA? Uh no, not, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, that's the right attitude. I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Even though you won't understand a shit, but like I saw once this interview with uh, Mercedes Carrera. Oh, I love her. I work with her. Really? She's like the sexiest woman I've ever uh, seen. Oh, I gotta check that scene. You you work with Mercedes Carrera? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was mm -hmm. like, like the Coachella porn. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, she's so beautiful. She's like kind of this Amazonian like goddess woman. She's just like, she's very tall and just like, her skin is like so soft. I'm just, it's really strange. I'm like, she's just like glowing all the time. The Latin glowing. Mm -hmm. I saw this interview with her and she said that she never imagined it was going to be so much paperwork. Oh my okay. God. Can you porn tell me is about like that? half paperwork. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's not like, hey, We want to do a sex tape, let's go to the standard hotel, put on the cameras mm -hmm. and upload it. There's going to be like every single scene that you do ever, you'll have between 10 and 20 pages of paperwork to, be, to sign and fill out. It takes like half an hour and it's like a really big portion of the shoot. <laughs> and you can't do the shoot unless you do all this paperwork. It's just like, I have, I am, like I sign paperwork now, like just in my regular life and people are like, holy shit, how did you do that so fast? And I, I just like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, how do you even like write that fast? Oh yeah, yeah. What does it say on those 30 pages? Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's kind of how it goes. Are you above 18? Yes. Are you above 18 for sure? Yes. Are you sure you are above 18? <laughs> it's just like, it's all to make sure that you are doing this consensually and you are over 18. And then you provide two forms of ID with it. And then you have to take photos with the ID, photos separately from the ID. It's like a whole process. You just get used to it. It's like, yeah, I'm so good at, they call it bunny ears. When you take your two forms of ID and hold them up to your ears and smile. <laughs> Hi. I'm definitely over 18. <laughs> yeah. What else do you do besides besides hmm. the adult industry? I know you paint a lot. Right. Yeah. I so I, I paint and I actually um, just got hired by um, this like company in Beverly Hills and I'm now like almost I'm like half doing porn and modeling and then half doing um, like artwork all the time um, whenever I'm not working doing a shoot and uh, I, yeah I like. I'm in between the place I'm doing all these murals. I'm doing murals all over this house and then I'm going to be doing houses all over Beverly Hills. And uh, the place I'm working now is in between Taylor Swift's house and the Prince of Saudi Arabia, directly in between them. And I've like walked accidentally into Taylor Swift's parking lot, like area, and was like escorted out, like, because I didn't know. And he was like just coming through the fence and I like couldn't get in. So I like crawled kind of over the fence and I was like, okay, I'm in. And then the security guards were like, you what are you doing here? Sparkle. Yeah, like they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm painting. <laughs> like, hi! <laughs> and they escorted me out, and yeah, then I found out it was her parking lot, her driveway, whatever. But yeah, so I paint, uh, it's great. It's called, um, my like little business is called uh, Glass Spider Curiosities, and um, yeah, I used to be a window painter in New York City, and just wanted to continue that on. And so. you've done some uh, uh, roles, uh, like an extra roles in movies, right? Yeah. I uh, show your boots to Adam Sandler. Yeah, when I was, uh, yeah, I was in the <laughs> do-over, you see my boobs. I was also, though, before I was that, I was the the uh, body double for the main actress, Catherine Bell. The, like, the, anytime you don't see her face in that movie, it's like me. Really? <laughs> Whenever she's naked, it's me. <laughs> and this, like, I did a threesome with uh, Louis Guzman and David Spade, because she didn't want to be in it, because she has to be naked in it. And so uh, we're doing like a fake threesome scene with Louis Guzman and David Spade, and I'm <coughs> in between them, and I'm just like, what is my life right now? <laughs> you gotta stop staring at me. Sorry. We were like, chill out, guys. No, David was asking me, he's like, so uh, who's your agent? Can I talk to him about getting in the industry, in the adult industry? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I think like if I got David Spade into the adult industry, I 
would have to like put that on my like tombstone or something. Like that would be like a big highlight of my life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I was rolling a fake threesome with David Spade. It was really funny. Um, <laughs> so it was supposed to be like a three way. So we were like in a line and Louis Guzman's behind me. And I'm like wearing underwear and like a flesh colored bra, but like mostly just completely naked. And then David Spade in front of me, I'm like giving him a fake blow job. His pants aren't even down. I'm just bumping my head into his like crotch area. And then like Louis Guzman is like, he seems very nervous around me. <laughs> <laughs> he was like very nervously like pretending to hug me from behind and I was like this is the single weirdest thing I've ever done my entire life. Like, so you have this, you have like the, the Oscars of porn, it's an, an amazing event, the AVN Awards. Yeah. I'll survive inside that room, it's like, you must be like the most, like yeah. nobody gives a f the right is like, you can't like you can't, you can't go in there giving a fuck because your head will actually explode. Like <laughs> if you actually like care and are like everything has to go according to plan, you will like just explode. It, it, it's chaos. Like everybody still makes it work. Like it still somehow works out and it's fun, but it's like yeah, I was there for eight days. Yeah, about eight days last year, and I was working eight hours a day in the convention hall, and then we had the red carpet. I got the AV, they call it the AVN flu, which is, you get it to flu during AVN, um, AVN flu. And um, then I was like working every day, and I had to get on the red carpet, and like, I just took like a lot of cough medicine, and just like walked down, and I'm like, I'm like completely disassociated like, from my body right now. Like, <laughs> like, like a part of the everybody's state. taking pictures of me, and I'm just like, I can't tell if I'm happy or if I like am dying actually, dying right now but woo. Lil Wayne was there and I was uh, drunk too and I uh, they pushed me up on stage to dance with him I, like me and a bunch of other girls so we're up on stage dancing with Lil Wayne and I'm like I don't know why I'm up on the stage right now and I got shy and moved over and was dancing behind so there's all these girls right dancing and like sexy I was like drunk and sick and I'm standing there dancing like and then all at the same time the girls in front of me that I was hiding behind so nobody would see me they all drop and start twerking and so all you see on showtime showtime is me just being like <laughs> like it's a nightmare and like, twerking, you're like, like dad dancing like the worst dad dancing you've ever dad seen dancing, and they're right, like right. and there's all of glass uh let's just move the camera this way well uh let's go hang right. out you, you you said venice beach mm -hmm. it would be nice let's get some scooters go down venice some, beach so some la leaving bro you know, you know how it goes, bro. So many like, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Let's go get okay. a shit advice. All right. Do you want to get this shit advice? Should let's I go get this? I don't know if I need advice or anything. Advice. Hi. We are looking for some shit advice. Where are you all from? I'm from here. What about you? Uh, I'm from Mexico City. Mexico City, I'm gonna fuck with you first. Now, oh, yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, what do you do for a living? Um, you I'm the model. I, that. Yeah? I got a totally different genre for you. All right. But you're gonna have to move to Nevada. Okay. All right. Brothels? Exactly. Oh, I need to join I, a brothel. But it, no, no, not join one, open one. Open one, right. I need to open right. one. With a stipulation. Cool. You're gonna be the only one there to run the entire brothel. Woo! So that means you gotta take on whatever comes in the door. All right. That means guys, girls, some selected four-legged animals. As a matter of fact, just to keep you entertaining, stab a couple <laughs> gerbils up your ass, just for shits and giggles. Don't use literal no shit. No kind of protection, no kind of contraception. Okay. Just spread it out there like fucking peanut butter. All right. And when your coochie rots out, don't blame me. This is purely shitty advice. All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I'm getting my shitty advice. All right. Uh, give me a subject. I'm uh, a subject. Yeah. What do you want shitty advice for? How about life? Yeah, give me a shitty right. life advice. On your way home, stop at a hardware store. Get a 13 foot rope. On one end, don't do anything. On the other end, put a loop and 13 knots. When you get back to your house, take that loop over your neck, the other over the belly band, and let's get that swing in. No more problems. Truly shitty advice. <laughs> this is truly shitty advice. Thank you for the yeah, advice, man. Thank you. Thank you for the shitty advice. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, have a great time, man. Bye, Steve. Right, let's go get a beer. Yeah. Margarita time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Um, Here we are, Old Venice, Old, old Venice, Venice Beach. Old Venice Beach. You know, roll, baby. Besides the paperwork, what's the other thing you don't like about the, the industry? The industry? That if you could change something, 
if I could change something about the industry. Um, that's an interesting question. Uh, one thing that um, bothers me about the industry is that it's such a stigma that um, it, I can't like just tell random people what I do for a living because like I could get hurt or I could get like harassed or you know like I, uh, I accidentally was telling like my friend in front of an Uber driver that I was a porn star once and he went nuts and was just like pulled over and he's like we got to shoot a porn in the back of the car and I was like dude this is not what I like I'm not I'm not just open for business that way you know so I think um, the the lack of education uh, about what the porn industry is and what it does and who the people are is one thing that I think is uh, that sucks about porn but otherwise I mean other than the paperwork <laughs> I like I love the industry I love the people uh, the pay isn't bad <laughs> um, it's an, always an adventure uh, yeah and, yeah it allows me a lot of freedom in my life which is wonderful that's a great so. answer what what's next for you what else what else are you planning to do? You, yeah. You're gonna stick to painting and, and auto filming for a while? Mostly mostly painting, honestly. Working really hard on that. And then I'm gonna be directing, uh, I'm having my directing debut for Penthouse in December. How do you do rain? You'll be like jump into the table and, and have and, sex. And have sex <laughs> or, or how do you rate porn? Um so I get to come up with the concept, like what we're shooting and um, like what the story is gonna be, and I get a hand in like casting. And uh, yeah, then Penthouse has like a very special beautiful way of directing where like they really focus on the artistry of it so um, yeah I'm gonna be able to take over that myself I feel like I got a lot of ideas in here to shoot so it's gonna be good cool. so, yeah, I'm... Uh, an amazing interview thank you very much oh my god thank, thank you, you so thank much, you much. Yeah. An amazing time was was, good. Uh, you need to rate the experience uh, rate the whole, this experience yeah out of what the whole the whole trip and the, and the food. I mean, I had a blast because it's 10 out of 10, 15 out of 10. 10 out of 10? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 10 out of 10. I mean, it's like chill times with amazing people having hamburgers and drinking margaritas. I really can't ask for better. I know, I know. I'll give you an award. This is the award. Oh, Here you are. Best, oh, best a, interview. Oh, this is a sugar award. This is a, the yeah, you are, award. you are sugar. Right, you are made of sugar. sugar. <laughs> you are very sweet. Um, first of all, I would like to thank Olive for the interview. Uh, couldn't be done without you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, obviously God, uh, mom, there, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. <laughs> so stupid. Let's go uh, out the right way. Go take a walk. Um, guess we're not having sex because this is not porn. I'm going to go that way. Um, I'm going to do that too because we're waiting for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> so, neither of us are covered in cum. <laughs> what a fantastic end of the day. <laughs> Look. No bleach smelling Spanish, here. Like fantastic. Fantastico. Fantastico. Fantastico end of the day. No, sin meco. <laughs> How do you say I'm not covered in cum? <laughs> no estoy cubierta en semen. No estoy cubierta en semen.